Hi, today we'll talk about the global error handling on .NET 6. This is our extension methods. We call it configuration exception handler. We will write on it iApplication Builder interfaces and we will call it on Startup.js. Here we go. While our service is trying to up, we will call this extensions methods before. Why? Because we are trying to manage all exceptions in one place. In meanwhile, we are saving all error logs into the Elasticsearch. But what about two months later or maybe next year, we could decide to save our error logs into the Cosmos DB, MongoDB, or wherever we want. Now, let's check it out these extension methods. Firstly, we will use Elastic Error Log Services here. Elastic Log Services needs a provider. This is our Elastic Search provider. And here we go. Where is it? This is our Elastic Search client provider. We will get our configuration information here Elastic Search host name, username, password. And then we will return an Elastic client here. And if you check it out here, we have to decrypt all information from configuration. So if you check it out, app settings JSON, if you check the Elastic connection settings, you will see here all sensitive data are encrypted. So firstly, we have to decrypt the sensitive data and use it. So we need the third party application or maybe we have to need our custom solutions. And if we check it out, this index name, they are not so important and they are not a sensitive data. So uh, we can read it with the flat eyes. So in this application, we will use error log index. Let's check it out, our provider. Our provider, Elastic provider, uh, will return an Elastic client. So our Elastic search services will use this client. Here we go. We will call this method check existing and insert log methods. Uh, we want to save our error logs to Elastic search. So first we will check it out. Uh, is there any index with this name? If there is no any index with this name, uh, we will create it and save our log models or error log models or error log documents to this error log index on Elasticsearch. Now, uh, let's continue our extension methods. Where is our extension methods here? Uh, in the next line, uh, we will prepare our log model here. We will describe the exact place of our error logs. We will describe action, controller, and error, error current time that we will set it at the post date, user ID, our custom uh, error message and error code here. After all, we will prepare this uh, log document. Uh, we will save this on Elasticsearch on Elastic Log Index. Now, before we start this video, I upped Elasticsearch services and Kibana services. So here we go. This is our Kibana service. If you call 9 to double ports. If you met uh, with this message, it shows you this everything is okay. And, and you can call Kibana with 560 point port and there is no any uh, error index here. So firstly, uh, we will start an application and our Swagger documents will welcome us. So now user controller, uh, on get top one user model, uh, we will create some custom exceptions and we will throw it. Uh, this line is a dictionary, a status code is a K and status message is R value. And we will throw these custom exceptions and we will handle it on our extension methods and we will save this uh, log document into the elastic search. Let's trigger these methods, okay? Uh, I will call these methods throw exception and save it on Elasticsearch. And later we will monitor it on Kibana, okay? Now, oh, I get it unauthorized error. This is not my custom error. Firstly, 
we have to log in again because our token uh, is expired. Now I will log in again. I will get token. I will put it on a header and I will trigger my uh, next methods manually. Okay. So I have to change token here. Security is everything, I think. So you have to be very careful about that point. Now we will call well, this user methods again. Yes, that's all. Now we will not get unauthorized error. I'm sure we will get different our custom exceptions, I think. Okay, I we will get this error now. Oh, it is not the whale token. No, we couldn't log in again. My God, I think I couldn't copy it properly. I'll try it one more time. This is, I hope this is my last time. Okay, let's try it out again. We will call get top one user methods. Okay. Now. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Everything is okay now. Actually, we will send our custom exception here, but it's okay. It's everything under control. Uh, we will continue. We will manage this extension. This is, we will manage this exception on our extension methods here. Yeah. We will get Elasticsearch services. We create index and save error log documents to our Elasticsearch services. So I'm waiting for the error, but it must be the different something form. Yeah. I'm still waiting. Okay. We will get code 403 or 403. And our message, you are not authorized for this page. This is our custom exceptions. Let's monitoring with Kibana. Firstly, we have to check is there any index with error log. So we have to come stake management modules here. And we will click index management. We have to see our error log index here. Yes, at the end of number is our grid number. Okay. Now we have to describe this index on Kibana with the pattern, create index pattern. We have to describe this error lock with asterisk, error lock. Yes, that's it. And we have to select timestamp field because Kibana will be ordered our services by this field. I will select post date. So with the scanning, our documents will be uh, sort by this field. I hope it will create it. Yes, that's okay. Now we will go to dashboard or discovery section, I think. Yes, discovery section. And we will select the error lock index. And we have to see our error documents, okay? Only one record, but that's enough. Yes. I selected the error logs. Yes, we are searching. I hope we will find it. And I think it's loading. And one hit. I think we have found our last error look document here. If you click on it, uh, we will see the details about the error logs. This is our action name, get top one user. We sent our custom extensions from this method. This is our controller name. This is our custom error code. This is our custom error message. Exactly time uh, when we send this error here and user ID and that's all. Actually, it's very easy. Uh, you can use uh, you can use for different tools maybe, but Elasticsearch, Kibana, 
and extension methods is my choice. Uh, thank you for listening to us. Uh, see you next video. Bye-bye.